it's Amelia, and I'm doing a video on how to um, care for your webtail blizzard, like care tips and what they eat and stuff. So, let's get into it, I guess. So, you, if you live in a colder place, you can use um, a red heat lamp at night. See, red heat lamp. You can use one at night, and then in the day, use a, a heat lamp. I have a 150 watt on her right now. She's sleeping down underneath her thing, and there's rocks holding it up down here. So, if you look, there's rocks holding it up, like, really closely. That's why rocks are scattered around. Um... So yeah, um, you want a hide for them, you want a cup, like one, maybe two hides for them to hide under. I have this one, that one over there, um, it is from, I don't know, but she loves to bask on there, like on the top right here, she loves to bask, right here, drop my temperature. Like, right there, she likes to bask. And then she crawls in that little cactus thing. Like, that little plant with the the cactus plant holder thing. She, like, uses that as a little litter tray sometimes. Like, I need to clean, like, spot clean a little, too. So, yeah. um, She likes to craw crawl on this, like, hop up from up here and then crawl, crawl, crawl. Or she would just um, go from here on there. Here, I'm going to open her kind of. She would either go from here, crawling like this, go through here, or go up here and walk all the way down. Or come right here, crawl all the way up, and then just bask there. And this is a real cactus. Ooh, that hurt. Um, and she... Um, does, sometimes does her business in there. Um, she has this log thing that she likes to crawl up here and then just look at me when I'm taking care of Mousy over there. Um, she has a water dish and wood chips as the thing. And now I'm going to tell you about their care. That was the setup part. So her care is um three or four crickets every other day and in the summer i was told they can eat up to seven or eight crickets a day um every other day not a day um but sometimes if like i get low on crickets i'd use some of my mealworms um that's what i'm doing right now but she has uh, okay amount of crickets like but I'm using them for mousing right now and whenever I use the mealworms I made sure I put some calcium on them it's either reptical reptical or fluckers calcium with um with vitamin d3 so yeah um you want to make sure they ha have a little spot for them to hibernate like that cactus spot um, or, like, she would crawl, um, around here. She would crawl down here. Like, in that hide thing. Like, in her hide right, right here. Like, in that hide, she would crawl around the base of it and then just sleep there for a little bit. But then she'd move back to her cactus thing. Cactus thing. Um, but yes, yeah, you want to make sure they have a spot to hide under. Um, a little, like, maybe a short distance fall. Um, like, in case she, she or he does slip off, you want to make sure it's not that much above the um, floor. Which mine isn't. She would either land on her hide um, her cactus box, or the ground, and that wouldn't hurt that much, because it's only a little far down, a little ways down, but yeah, um, 
I have a little bit of water in there, but they're from like deserty areas. So, yeah. You want to make sure you don't squash them by um Oh, she's coming out. Hello. You want to say hello to the camera? He's right there. If you guys can't see him. I hope she'll crawl up a little. Need help? I'm gonna lift up that cactus hide real quick. Just to help her squirm out a little bit. I'm trying not to startle her that much. I lifted it up and she didn't do anything. Oh, now she's coming out a little bit more, but I'm going to pull right back over her. She came out a little bit more, so I'll show you her. Wouldn't really be able to see her any other way except for this way. Maybe going like that. I don't know, but that's most of the care for them. Um, maybe spot clean once in a while. I'm going to spot clean in a little bit, probably. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I'm thinking if I left anything out. Do not use sand because that can cause impaction. Try to dust as much of their um, food you can as possible with um, calcium. And make sure you don't press on their tail because that'll fall off as um, as hers did, but I didn't do it. Um, it's already regrown though. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. And make sure their substrate is like about um, maybe an inch, inch deep. Mine actually is, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video, and bye, guys. <laughs> bye.